I want to talk about what what instruments sound well together because oh, one of yeah. the things one of the things I've noticed with um, sometimes I go into a classroom and they'll bring out like a plastic bin full of Everything. please forgive me trash yeah. okay yeah. so and I just look at it and I'm just horrified because they're not musical instruments right. they're like something that somebody sold them online mm -hmm. Preschool teachers, noise makers, discount from school supply. It's just mm. awful. Junk. So, junk. <laughs> I want to get into non junk. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, this obviously oh, that's is nice. non junk, but we can't use this with the babies because right, no. they will eat it and then uh -huh. you'll, you'll be doing the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> so, you can't, unfortunately, but right. you, can, you can have this on a shelf. Yeah. And you can, um, at different times, traditionally, meaning all over the planet, people have combined drums with shakers. And for babies, these little ones fit in their hands. And so I like this. Um, and... Uh, I like having enough of these so that they can have one in each hand mm. because it's like a it's a it's a symmetrical experience. And when you just give them one, um, I mean, it's not that there's something wrong with that, but I, I think that this is just one hundred percent better experience if you can have one in each hand. Now, with the babies, because they're not so strong, and because if you get high quality shakers, they can be strong, I don't usually give them a hard time if they're hitting the drum with the shaker. But I do get very concerned about that if the child is like, yeah, because then they go like this, and yeah. then you have like a real issue because sometimes they put lead in these.